In this video, we will explore gases. First, we will discuss a gas's pressure, volume, and temperature at a molecular level and differentiate between an ideal gas and a real gas. The base SI unit of the mole will also be introduced. Secondly, we will investigate pressure as a result of force and molecular collisions. The relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature, as well as pressure and density, will be discussed. Finally, the internal energy of a gas in terms of its potential and kinetic energies will be discussed. The volume, pressure, and temperature of a gas are bulk properties of a gas at a macroscopic scale. At a microscopic scale, a gas is made up of a collection of particles, each one in random motion. This motion is related to the temperature of the gas. Temperature is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of the particles of the gas. The gas particles collide with each other and with the walls of the container the gas is in. The collisions between the particles in the container results in pressure being exerted by the gas on the container. The free motion of the particles also causes a gas to expand to fill the volume of the container it is in. In order to make predictions about gas behavior, gases are often assumed to be ideal. The assumptions made for ideal gases include that the particles are identical and the distance between the particles is much larger than the size of the particle. In an ideal gas, the intermolecular forces are considered not to exist and all particle collisions are elastic. The equations presented for gases in this topic apply to ideal gases only. The conditions under which gases will approximate ideal gas behavior are when there's a high temperature, a low gas pressure, and a low gas density. The SI unit for amount of matter is the mole. A mole is the amount of matter that contains Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of particles. For example, a mole of water is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 water molecules. The molar mass is the mass of a mole of a substance. The molar mass of carbon-12 is 12 grams per mole. This is the mass of carbon-12 that contains Avogadro's number of carbon-12 atoms. Because the bulk properties of a gas are dependent on the behavior of the particles, the number of particles in a sample of gas is an important variable. A lowercase n is used for the amount of moles, and the symbol capital N is used for the number of particles in a gas. These ideas are related through the formula, where lowercase n equals capital N divided by Na, where Na is Avogadro's number. Pressure is a scalar quantity, and is defined as the force divided by the area. It has the SI unit of the Pascal. A Pascal is a Newton per meter squared. At a microscopic level, the pressure of a gas is due to the collisions between the particles and the container. When particles collide with the walls of the container, they undergo a change in momentum, or an impulse. This impulse arises from a force from the walls on the particles, and in turn the particles apply a force on the walls on collision. This collective force leads to the pressure on the container. Applying the conditions for an ideal gas, in which the particle collisions are elastic, the particles are uniform in mass and size, and using the components of the particle velocities that are perpendicular to the container wall, the relationship between the pressure of the gas, the volume of the container, and the average velocity can be derived. We can see in this equation that the pressure will be higher if there are more particles or if the gas particles are more massive. The pressure from the gas will decrease if the gas occupies more volume, but pressure will increase with the square of the speed with which the particles collide with the container walls. Using the fact that the density is the ratio of the mass to volume, and noting that Nm in the first formula represents the total mass of the gas, the equation simplifies to pressure equals one-third times the density times the average speed squared. Particles of a real gas contain potential energy in the intermolecular bonds and kinetic energy in the movement. The total energy of the particles is called the internal energy and is the sum of the total potential and kinetic energy of the particles. Recall that one of the assumptions for an ideal gas is that the intermolecular forces between particles are negligible. For this reason, the potential energy of ideal gases is considered to be zero, and so the internal energy of an ideal gas is only the average kinetic energy of the particles. 
The kinetic energy of a particle is given by the formula kinetic energy is equal to 3 halves times Boltzmann's constant times the temperature in Kelvin. The internal energy of an ideal gas can then be determined by multiplying this formula by the number of particles, capital N. To get the internal energy is equal to 3 halves times the number of particles times Boltzmann's constant times the temperature in Kelvin. There's another equation that expresses the internal energy of a gas in terms of the number of moles. The internal energy equals 3 halves times the number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin. It can be shown that Boltzmann's constant and the gas constant are related through the equation Boltzmann's constant equals the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. In summary, the bulk properties of a gas are due to its molecular motion. The kinetic energy of the particles is directly proportional to the temperature and the pressure is due to the collisions between the particles in the container. The relationship between the pressure of the gas and the average speed of the molecules is given by the formula pressure is equal to one-third times the density times the average speed squared. The mole is the SI unit for amount of matter. It is the amount of matter that contains Avogadro's number of particles. Boltzmann's constant and the gas constant R are also related to Avogadro's number and the amount of moles of a substance. An ideal gas is a gas with uniform particle size and in which the collisions between the particles and the particles in the container are elastic. Real gases can be considered ideal under high temperature, low pressure, and low density. The internal energy of a gas is the sum of the potential and kinetic energy of the particles. For an ideal gas, the potential energy of the particles is negligible, so the internal energy of an ideal gas is the kinetic energy of the molecules. The formula's internal energy is equal to 3 halves times the number of particles times Boltzmann's constant times the temperature in Kelvin, and internal energy equals 3 half times the number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature in Kelvin. Describe these relationships.